Welcome to Student RDH Dental Hygiene Board's review. Today, a very important topic, how to use the brain more. In Student RDH, we believe that the brain is so full of amazing things that you can achieve a lot more by saving time, money, and effort if you follow our process, if you follow the science half of how the brain works. Have you had the problem where you saw persons, you didn't quite remember that person's name like you see in this picture, who is this beautiful lady? Have you almost got the answer right on your examination but you couldn't exactly remember what that definition was? I think we all had this experience and this is because although everything is stored in our brain, we didn't know where to look for. Now, today I'm gonna to talk within five minutes about how the brain works and how we can use it to be better. The brain, in terms of memory, is divided into two compartments. Here, the short-term memory lies in the prefrontal cortex. Things get dumped in here. You just read, 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 everything gets stored here, but at the end, you want all this information to be stored long term because we are wasting our time if we cannot get this into our long-term memory now if you look at the long-term memory I like to use the analogy of a closet the long-term memory is where you store things by order by category so you can look for the right piece of information when you need it do you see how neatly everything is organized the shirts over here you got the coats over here. I mean, this is a beautiful closet. Now, if you can turn all your information you get when reading your book into a beautiful organized closet like this, I bet you will have no problem going to examination and rocking that test. We want to do the same thing here at Student RDH. This is how we're going to do this. So all this information that get dumped here, the prefrontal cortex, are going to be lived short term. You can remember it for today, maybe tomorrow if you're lucky, but then we want to put it here. How we do that? Here, there are two rules. The first is substitution. The second is connect. Now, let me show you how this works. Substitution means you are going to put whatever you know better into that word, that number, or any piece of information that you see. In other words, you're going to make it recognizable. Now, after you make it recognizable, the second rule, connect. You're going to connect it with a specific memory that you have in your brain, something that you experience, you are very familiar with. I think that all makes sense. Now, let's try this. Ma Fujiyama, 12,365 foot. How are you going to remember that? Let's substitute, first of all, this long piece of information to something we know already. What about 12 months and 365 days? Don't we all know this? So now this is easy. We connect this with our existing memory. We've probably done this since kindergarten. Easy, right? Now let's look at Abilify. Well, Abilify is a drug, one of the top 100 drugs that um, North American use. Therefore, it's important for you to know. I'm going to substitute this word with able to fly. It sounds very similar to Abilify. Now you connect able to fly with something that you know. And if someone tells you that they are able to fly, well, that doesn't really make sense unless they're in an airplane, but if with no gears or nothing, they say they are able to fly, then you can suspect that the patient might have some mental illness. And this drug, Abilify, is used for a lot of different mental illnesses. Now, I'm not here to insult anybody or to make unethical examples but the truth is the crazier the example is or the more fun our example is, the better it sticks within our memory. We have to use our imagination in Alice in Wonderland style. Go crazy on it because the brain is craving for something more fun. Now, I hope you can apply this 
when you remember anything, especially when you study for your dental hygiene examination. You can find more about the dental hygiene reviews for Student RDH at studentrdh.com. Feel free to email me anytime. My name is Claire. I'm the founder of Student RDH. See you again.